You're a fake. An imposter. You talk about your great book, your great creation. And sure, I mean, there isn't a newspaper or journal to be found in which you and your book aren't favourably mentioned. <laughs> Who remembers me? No one. No one. I've been banished to obscurity. And the critics, they were glad to see me go. It involved too much effort to extract any thought from my heavy abstractions. It, it overworked their poor little brains. It's you. The great vulgarizer. You made my work comprehensible even to pigs and horses. They don't have to think anymore. They don't have to reason because you will absolve them of that. They simply read your words and then they spit them back like some kind of silly mantra. You know, you, you, you dress my Apollo in his cheap suit, my Venus in a second-hand dress, and you gave my principled hero the ears of an ass. <sighs> but what do you care? <laughs> Your career is made, and no one is conscious of the theft. They applaud you wherever you go. Writers, they'll, they'll imitate you. You'll be seen as the father of this important movement. But meanwhile, I can't even look in the paper without being confronted by, by faces in which I recognise the traits of my own children, my literary children. Countless hours, locked away in the study, struggling to find a new language, a new vernacular. And I succeeded. I finally did it. Yet, none of my children recognize me. They know only you. It wasn't enough that you've stolen my wife. You've stolen my children as well, my legacy. And now you come to me. Because why? You want my blessing? You want me to pat you on the back and tell you everything's going to be okay? <laughs> Fine! Take it. My wife, my children, my ideas. Assume all rights. You're my little filet, right? <laughs> you know what's funny? loved you even thought you a little gifted you my empty shadow 